Stop going around friends who don't want to serve God. You may have stopped coming around certain people, certain friends. You may know they aren't too good for you. You may know they are holding you back from positive progress. Maybe you stopped coming around them for one year, two years, maybe for a long time. So happens, they may have came around you recently. You might think in your mind, maybe now it is okay for me to hang out with them. Maybe it is okay for me to, I guess, rekindle that relationship or what is it called? start over the relationship. Look now, if that old friend doesn't want to serve God, stay away. Myself, if I am correct about this, I don't have any friends that I used to be friends with when I was in sin, I believe. I don't really have friends now, I guess if I can say that. Probably one or two. Maybe I might have friends, whatever. But I don't have any friends that I used to, I guess, sin with. If you are trying to live for God, I think this happens to almost anyone who is trying to live for God. If you are trying to live for God, I think there is a large chance demons will send people your way to distract you. With myself, I guess I am like a closed off <laughs> person. I think at times some people have offered me to do this or do that with them. And most, and I think for most people, I don't mess with them in that type of way. Why? Maybe more than one reason, but I think one of the reasons, hey, if you aren't serving God, if you don't want to live for him, what business do I have with you? Not to sound rude or anything like that, but if I am trying to live for God, if you are trying to live for the devil, unconsciously or whatever, you are, I guess I can say, you are a potential harm to me. Right? If you are going to be cussing, if you are going to be smoking your weed and getting drunk around me, if you are going to be sinning in front of me, aren't you a harm to me? Man, please listen. If you are trying to live for God, leave those bad friends or those, 
bad influencing friends alone. If I am saying that right. Yes, they may give you money. Yes, they may give you a car. Yes, they may treat you very well, but if they are doing evil in front of you, influencing you to do the same or worse, that person, I believe, that person is a harm to you. When you begin living for God, stay away. Stay away from those bad friends. Doesn't matter if you have been friends with them or were friends with them for five years, seven years, 10 years, 20 years. Hey, your whole life, it doesn't matter. If they prove to you or tell you, hey, I don't want to serve God, stay away. Yes, they may say to you, you are a traitor. They may say to you, you think you are so perfect. You think you are so holy. You think you are better than everyone. Let them say whatever they want. You should want to go to heaven and not so much please other people, right? Yes, I believe we should help some people, but our main focus, I guess I can say, should be on making it to heaven. Stay away from those bad friends. I am telling you, you may have ex-girlfriends try to come back or ex-boyfriends try to come back. Maybe your ex-wife or ex-husband may try to come back. If they aren't trying to live for God, if the Holy Spirit haven't told you, hey, I want you to talk to this person to whatever, to get this person whatever, to try to change, stay away, man. I believe I had people try to contact me and I believe I have to discern, hey, what happens when this person gets into contact with me? Now, if demonic things begin to happen, maybe, maybe, maybe not in every case, but maybe this person is a distraction. Maybe this person is sent from demons. Oh, Kevin, you are so superstitious or whatever that word is. Look now. I think it is real simple. Do demons want you to go to heaven? See, I believe all demons are condemned. I don't believe they can reside in heaven. But humans, I think all humans on this earth have maybe most to all humans on this earth perhaps have an opportunity to enter heaven. So do demons want you to go to heaven? Think about that. If I am a demon, which I am not, thank God, and let's say I am bitter, hateful, you know, I am condemned. I know that I am going to the lake of fire. No matter what I do, so whether I deceive humans or not, I am, con I am condemned. So what do I have to lose? 
I believe if I was a demon, I would be condemned and know I am going to the lake of fire. Maybe some don't know. I don't know. But I believe if I am a demon, I would know I am condemned to the lake of fire. So whether I do much evil or a small amount of evil, wouldn't I still be condemned? I think so, right? So what do I have to lose? Do I have anything to lose? Probably not. So, hey, if I was a demon, let me deceive as many humans as possible and or try to deceive them to turn their back away from God. To get them, I mean, to get them to turn away from God. Because if I am going to the lake of fire, let me get some of those humans to go as well, right? Because if you are already condemned, hey, bring more people with you, right? Listen now. Be watchful. I think everything that happens on this earth happens for a reason. So if a person magically, I mean, out of the blue, just come into your life, out of nowhere, I guess I can say, <coughs> I think it is happening. I believe that person is there for a reason. And I think you should be able or should try to discern why is this person here? Now, for me, I think sometimes I could be wrong, but I think sometimes some people are sent to me for me to help in some type of way. But if you are a beginner in Christ, I guess I can say, and let's say you are barely hanging on, man, you really have to, I think you really have to be watchful. Stop allowing bad people, if you can help it, in your life. Because I think they can hold you back. Especially if you are like a very emotional, hypersensitive person. A person who give in so easily to people. I think you really need to be careful of people who try to enter or re-enter your life. Let me stop here. God bless you.